If you listen carefully enough, the past whispers to you. For the fans of the Harry Potter franchise, there's so many nuggets in there. It's incredible. Everybody around you is as excited as you are. You know, that nostalgia that everyone has gets in my DNA as it is for a lot of people. There are so many memories. There's a feeling of coming home. So Grindelwald is at large, and Dumbledore has recruited this group of wizards to go and hunt him down. And they're going to Hogwarts to meet with Dumbledore, and Dumbledore lets them into his plan. The fact that everything didn't go precisely to plan was precisely the plan. But I think what excites me the most is the opportunity to return to a place that we grew to love in the Harry Potter films. Hogwarts has been in people's lives for so long. I grew up reading the books, so to be a part of Beasts, it's literally like a fantasy. Everyone knows Harry Potter. I got to be at Hogwarts for this movie. For me, that was really special. Jacob, look who I found. Hey, it's my wizard friends. We like this to see some exciting and familiar locations within Hogwarts. We see Quidditch going on, Quidditch players. We see some significant characters. In this wonderful world it takes you out of your own world. It was so surreal to walk onto these sets. What is this place? The room we require. Being able to shoot in the Great Hall is very special. There were loads of kids there. You felt very Harry Pottery. The Slytherin boys over there, they gave me these, the delicious, who wants one? I never cared for cockroach clusters much myself. <laughs> I mean, the first time I walked into the Hogshead, I was like, this is one of the craziest jobs ever. Ned created this battered, beautiful old pub. I really wanted to just grab a drink and go and sit down by the fire. <laughs> it was so authentic. These films have a place in people's lives. It takes you right back to the Potters. That's just the coolest thing. Correct. Three points to Hufflepuff. <laughs>